Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check a new iPhone before buying it. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, if you're looking to buy a new iPhone from someone, but you wanna make sure that it is authentic, it's not a fake phone, it hasn't been jailbroken, it doesn't have any issues on it, I'm gonna walk you through some steps to be confident in purchasing it. The first thing we'll do on the phone is to check with Apple to make sure that phone serial number is basically on Apple's records. This is a good indication that it is authentic. So let's tap on settings here and tap on general. Now at the very top, let's tap on about and you can see serial number here. All we have to do is tap and hold and hit copy. Now that we've done that, let's just open up a web browser and we're gonna to go to checkcoverage.apple.com. And all we need to do is paste in that serial number and then just enter in this little code here, FWJFG, and let's hit go. Nope, oh, that didn't work. Let's try this again. Eight, nine, six, WC and hit submit. Now if it pops up and it finds that exact phone, make sure basically if you're buying an iPhone 14 Pro, it says iPhone 14 Pro, it says a purchase date here and a serial number. If everything checks out on here, that's a good indication that it is an actual authentic iPhone and not some fake or replica. Now the other thing we'll check in the settings is this model number. What you're gonna pay attention to is the very first letter of this model number. You can see mine starts with an M. So let's go over to a web browser and you'll be able to see on the support page, if the model number starts with an M, it was purchased new from Apple. If it starts with an F, it was purchased as a refurbished phone. If it starts with P, it was personalized, and N means that it was a replacement device. So if you believe that you're buying a new one from basically Apple or that was purchased from Apple, make sure you check that model number. Now, after we go through those different steps, the next thing we'll do is open up the App Store. A lot of times people try to clone or replicate the iPhone, but they cannot replicate the App Store. It will have something else like the Google Play Store or something else. Tap on the profile at the top right here and make sure everything works normally. Try to download and install an app and see if it works. Maybe try to update some apps just by tapping on update all at the very bottom. So if you go through those steps, that's a good indication that the software looks good on your phone. Next, we're gonna check some hardware. So I recommend let's open up the camera app here and take a couple of photos. So take a picture or two, go over to video, take a video here and stop it and then just listen to that video. So make sure the camera works, check the back camera as well as the front camera. Use the audio essentially to see if the microphone works fine as well. Of course, you're gonna just check the sides of the phone and the back of it. Make sure there are no big cracks or issues. Check the cameras themselves to see if there are any issues with that. And then on the front here, again, check that front camera as well as the face ID. So head into your settings here. Let's go back and tap on face ID and passcode. And you can just set up an alternate appearance or just make sure that face ID works. Essentially, you're checking that sensor to make sure it is not broken or faulty. Another thing you're going to do is check the charging port. So basically get the charger, plug it in, see if it starts charging normally and everything is fine with charging. That's another good thing to check. And you'll want to basically turn on a video like a YouTube video and check these speakers that they're working. After you go through all of those steps, the last thing I would recommend doing to making sure that everything is working on the hardware size is to just hop out of here and open up your phone and just make a quick phone call. So it doesn't matter, you can just type in a random 1-800 number. You just wanna see, does it connect? 
Does the microphone work? Do calls just generally work? If you go through all of these steps, we've ensured that the hardware works and it's working as normal. And we've also checked around for the software. If everything checks out, you should be good to go ahead and buy that iPhone. If you're really in doubt, you can, of course, just ask them to basically take it to the Apple store with you and have them check it out. But if you can't do that or don't want to do that, if all of these things check out, then you should be pretty confident that you're buying an okay iPhone without any issues on it. It's not jailbroken. It's not fake or counterfeit or anything like that. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.